all right so welcome again today let's talk about distance of a point from a line you know previously we've talked about distance between two points we've talked about distance between two lines okay but today we're going to talk about distance of a point from a line you have a point and then you have a line so to find the distance between them this is what we want to look at okay so we are going to use this formula we're going to say that the distance r is going to give us a x plus b y plus c all over square root of a square plus b squared you get it right yes you know in the numerator we have a b c then we have x y so we can simply say a x plus b y plus c all over square root of a squared plus b squared where a b c are from the straight line equation and the x y are from the point okay now let's go let's take a look at this question find the distance of the given points the first point we have p 1 comma 3 the second point p 4 comma minus 2 from the line 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 also show that the point p minus 3 comma 4 lies on the same line let's analyze this question very well we are asked to find the distance of the point p from the line 2x plus 3y minus 6 then the first point we have p 1 comma 3 from the line 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 and then the second one p 4 comma minus 2 from the line 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 okay now let's go solution number one we already know a distance formula and then you discover that this distance formula is the distance of a point from a line okay so we'll say that r is equal to ax plus by plus c all over square root of a square plus b squared you get it right so here we are asked to find the distance from the point 1 comma 3 to the line 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 now let's check for our parameters so we say that a b c they come from the equation of the line equation of a straight line okay then that means we're going to say that a is equal to 2 b equal to 3 and then c equal to minus 6 and then we see that x and y they come from the point okay so that means x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 3 now let's fix this in the formula okay we're going to have r is equal to in place of a we have 2 now in place of x open bracket we're going to have 1 plus in place of b we have three and in place of y we have three also let's put it in bracket okay now we have plus in place of c we have minus six all over square root of we have a is two we have two squared plus b is three we have three squared okay so when we say in the numerator two times one we're going to have two plus when we say three times three we're going to have nine then we have minus six all over two squared is four and 3 squared is 9. We have square root of 4 plus 9. Now, when we add up the numerator, we're going to have 2 plus 9 minus 6, which is equal to 5. And then square root of, when we say 4 plus 9, we're going to give us 13. So here we're going to have r is equal to 5 all over square root of 13, which is approximately 1.387. Okay. Now let's go number 2. The distance of the point P4 comma minus 2 from the line 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 so here we have a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 and c is equal to minus 6 and then we have x and y from the point 4 and 
minus 2. So x is equal to 4 and y is equal to minus 2. So we also know that our formula is r is equal to ax plus by plus c all over square root of a squared plus b squared. Let's fix it in. Here we're going to have r is equal to 2 open bracket 4 plus 3 open bracket minus 2 close bracket plus minus 6 in bracket all over square root of 2 square plus 3 squared in the numerator we have 2 times 4 which is 8 then 3 times minus 2 minus 6 then plus times minus we have minus 6 okay so in the numerator we have 8 minus 6 minus 6 all over 2 squared is 4 3 squared is 9 here we have square root of 4 plus 9 now, when you say 8 minus 6 minus 6, it's going to give us minus 4. Here we have minus 4 all over square root of 13. So, when we are talking about distance, there is no negative in distance, okay? So, we're going to take this negative out of it or we take the absolute value of this. So, we take the absolute value to remove the negativity, okay? So, when we take the absolute value, it's going to give us r is equal to 4 all over square root of 13 which is equal to 1.109 now let's take a look at the last question it says that we should show that the point p minus 3 comma 4 lies on the same line okay now look at this here we say that if the point p minus 3 comma 4 lies on the line 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 its coordinate must satisfy the equation now look at what it means if this point minus 3 4 lies on the line 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 its coordinate which is x and y when you plug it in in this function or in this equation is going to give you 0 you get it right now let's try it so you know we have our equation of the straight line 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 right and then we have our point p minus 3 comma 4 okay now we have our x to be minus 3 and then our y to be 4 so in the equation 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 let's plug in the x the value for x and the value for y let's see what we're going to have so when we plug it in you're going to have two open bracket in place of x minus three plus three in place of y four close bracket minus six equal to zero is that true yes when we say two times minus three it's going to give us minus six and then three times four is equal to 12 minus six so here we have minus six plus 12 minus 6 so when we say minus 6 minus 6 is minus 12 minus 12 plus 12 0 here we have 0 is equal to 0 then we'll say hence the point p minus 3 comma 4 lies on the line 2x plus 3y minus 6 equal to 0 because its coordinate satisfies the equation okay yes thank you very much for watching please like and share our videos if you are yet to subscribe please do so and stay blessed